How are you? When we talk about uniting, it's not just about uniting individuals, but also it's about uniting different themes, different unlikely collaborations. Jill has a background in finance, and I think when we gather as human rights activists, we don't often think enough about money and currency and how they impact our human rights and our privacy. Just to give a couple examples, you've heard about the ever impressive police state that's being built in China by Xi Jinping and his cronies, where all financial transactions are being moved onto social media like WeChat that allows the government to have easy surveillance over all of your micro activity. Think about the fact that your spend says more about you than your words. Think about in Russia how when Mr. Putin wants to shut down an NGO or an independent journalist organization, what does he do? He closes your bank account, makes it very difficult for you to do business, correct? Think about in some countries, as you've seen, in places like Burma, people are simply deleted from the, from the financial system. So we can start to see how important money and currency are in the spectrum of human rights. Perhaps the most pernicious thing governments do with regard to finance is hyperinflation, which ends up damaging poor and middle class people uh, to, to great amounts of suffering. So the Human Rights Foundation is very interested in exploring uh, and researching how repressive governments and authoritarian regimes around the world are, are basically taking advantage of, of money and finance to cement their power and extend their rule. And one thing we can do is look at the country of Venezuela as a place where there's some innovation. And we're happy to partner with the Open Money Initiative, which is a new organization that Jill is founding, and she's delighted to tell you a little bit about it. Thank you, Alex. So yeah, my name is Jill Carlson. I'm a co-founder of the Open Money Initiative. My background, though, is in finance, as you mentioned. I started my career on Wall Street, where I was trading emerging markets debt. So the sovereign debt of many of the countries that we've been talking about and looking at over the last couple of days. And I would spend time reading the statistics and reading up on the policies of these different countries. But it left me asking questions about what does this look like at the human level on the ground? And so that has led to the founding of the Open Money Initiative. We're a research nonprofit that looks at closed economies and failing financial systems. And we look at the human experiences happening there. We've started in Venezuela, which, if you're interested in the statistics, is experiencing 10 million percent inflation this year. But what does that actually mean? And what do price controls actually look like? What does confiscation of wealth actually look like in this context? Well, I'll tell you. We've spoken with farmers who would rather abandon their land, abandon their crops, than live under the threat of violence from those who are enforcing the price controls on their crops and on their goods. We've spoken with women, with mothers, who've crossed borders to leave Venezuela, which is one of the largest refugee crises in the world today. And as they've left the country, they've had to evade the confiscation of their wealth from the border guards. And they've done this by sticking bills, their currency, in their hair, in their shoes, and in their bras. We've spoken with church groups who have created entire parallel digital economies on WhatsApp, out of sight and out of mind from their government. And we've spoken with students who run Bitcoin miners at their universities and in their parents' basements as their primary source of income for their entire families. And so we've collected these stories, both stories of oppression, but also stories of hope, in hopes of inspiring products, goods, and services that we can create in service of these places. So, so over the next you. two days, come find Jill and I, and we'll talk more about the Open Money Initiative and other ways you can partner with HRF to make a difference in the area of finance and freedom. Thank you so much. Thank you.